here. Okay. Uh, this is on the outside. Here. I've already started time. If you like to, let's go ahead and start working the hypoxia worksheet, the maze, the math problems. Hello, this is Ryan Doom. Welcome to CaptainDoom.com, and this is a video of Patrick Retzer and I attending the Great Lakes Aviation Conference and spending a little more than five minutes in a high altitude chamber. So when we walk into this chamber, we're immediately experiencing 28,000 feet. Within minutes, we're already impaired from the lack of oxygen, which is hypoxia. So here we go. Let's see how you do on that. Every minute I'll give you a time hack. Here I am. I've started with the multiplication and addition problems. Got through some of the simpler ones, struggling on multiplication. You'll find out that math is very difficult when you're hypoxic. You can hear me uh, joking about carrying the well. one, but I am struggling actually to handle that. Uh, carry the one. <laughs> and we're at the one minute mark. So if everybody get on the bottom left hand corner where it says one minute, check off any hypoxia symptoms and write down your O2 saturation and heart rate. Low 70s, high 60s. So everybody's, it's like low 70s, a couple of minutes. So right now I'm feeling okay. pretty tired. So, But overall I think I'm got fine. At least one symptom of hypoxia, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. I do believe so, I see some check marks there. And then let's go right back to the hypoxia worksheet. The math problem's a maze. I can't figure this mace out. I'm just about to do it anyway. Just do it backwards. Yeah, it's much better that way. <laughs> at this point, I'm just staring at the math problems. I decided to switch over to the maze. That one wasn't a problem. Okay, uh, Ryan, how many symptoms do you have? Ryan, how many symptoms? One. Uh, Tambo, how many symptoms do you have? I got three already. Three. Uh, Patrick, how many symptoms? Uh, you feel I'm tired? At two. Do you feel tired, Patrick? No, I don't no, feel tired. tired. A light head more and than And Bob. Any symptoms? Yeah, maybe dizziness. So yeah. Patrick's feeling lightheaded, but I, my personal symptoms are tired. I am feeling a bit tired right now. Anybody in the low 60s right now? We got 70. Yeah, I'm at 64. 60 hey, Ryan. 67. Ryan? Ryan? Can you do me a favor? Can you start counting back to 100 by threes? 100. Nice and loud so we can hear you on the outside. I'll give you the next one, 97. So I'm already in the low 60s, and I'm struggling to even respond, subtracting some numbers from 100, okay. trying to count down by three and struggling significantly. So that last number, that last number, can you write it down right beside the maze and circle it? Write it down right there, the last number. He asks me to write down the last number I said, and, and I don't even it. understand what he's asking me. Oh, here's yeah, the two minute mark. Circle it, okay. Should be about Good. Three minute mark, guys. Oh, and we are at three minutes now, so we get down to the three minute mark. Let's check off any hypoxia symptoms and write down your O2 saturation and heart rate. Remember, our goal is to get three symptoms O2 saturation somewhere in the 60s, and what do you supposed to do? Put that mask on your face. Every minute we're writing down our O2 and our heart rate. When we get in the low 60s, we're supposed to put our mask hey Bob, on. Can you do me a favor? This was repeated multiple times. And I and we're gonna have you hang do not Let's do a right recall bank. why, but I don't put my mask on. Level off as quick as you can. Right bank. Level off. Left bank. Level off. Climb. Level off. Dive. Okay, good. And you go back to tilt board. And we're at four minutes now, so let's get the four minute mark. One of the guys let's is pretending he's in an airplane symptoms. right now. Bob said, that's enough. For those people on the outside, take a look at Bob's face. His face is going to turn beet red. Colors are going to come back. And that's the hypoxia signs that you're looking at. So get about two or three breaths of oxygen, start feeling better right away. Okay, Ryan, you're slowing down quite a bit. What was our goal, Ryan? Goals get three symptoms. Right, right now, I still feel where? to myself um, that I am about the same as when I got in the chamber, but it's not. And you put your mask on. But to myself, I feel fine. That's what I'm telling myself. It looks like uh, we had to have a little bit of help with uh, Patrick with his mask. 
Ryan, do you think you need to put your oxygen mask on, or are you doing good? Do you wait? He checks with me to see if I should put it on. I'm going to wait. I think that's a good idea. And we're coming into five minutes, so let's go ahead and write down your O2 saturation and heart rate. And mask on, mask on. When I go to put my mask on, Hold once on I mask, look down nice to grab it, there we go. Um, I actually put it on my chin first. The guy kind of Tempo, comes over to on. assist me to move it high enough so it's actually over my nose and I actually get air. Get a couple good breaths of O2. You're going to start feeling better right away. So Jerry's going to pass you out an alcohol wipe. We'll have you uh, wipe down your mask. He'll tell you when to take your mask off. When we exit out, I'll meet you outside here. This was a great experience. I'm glad that Patrick was able to record it and that I was able to share it with everybody. What I really realized was that you've got 30, 60, 90 seconds maybe to recognize that you have hypoxia and to start to remedy your situation. So if you're in a pressurized cabin, you lose pressure, you have supplemental oxygen, that's not working, you have you know, just a minute or two to recognize that and to start remedying it, which might be to declare an emergency, descend as quick as possible, and get to some air that you can actually breathe. It was cool to see my specific reaction to hypoxia, so maybe that, should I ever be in that situation, I can recognize the symptoms on myself, and just realizing that you think you're okay, and you're struggling doing simple math, simple problems, but your body, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good, when you clearly are not. So it was interesting to see that and experience that. Thanks for checking it out. Ryan Doom, CaptainDoom.com, and Patrick Retzer, GreatLakesAirVentures.com.